So I'm gonna give you a rundown of everything that we have here. All of this is literally meal prep, by the way. Like everything is meal prep. So we have lentil soup, which I love breaking my fast with lentil soup because it's high in protein. This is beef kafta. This is like chicken. This is hummus, well hummus. And then this is like a grilled onion. Then I have tabbouleh salad, which is like a salad with parsley, tomatoes, bulgur wheat, and then some mint and green onions. And then I also have pita bread for the lentil soup and the hummus. And I also like to dip the meat into the hummus as well. It's really good. Okay, well, we have about five minutes until I have to leave to the mosque. This is what I call my lazy routine for my hijab. So I'll just do it around like this. Secured. I'll leave it like that for now. I need to leave right now, otherwise I'm not gonna make it in time. That's one thing about living in Dallas, is like the mosque that I go to is literally like 30 to 45 minutes away, depending on traffic. Now we are ready to go. Hello? Yeah, are you on the way? Are you going to the house first and then the mosque? Uh, I hope I make it in time um, because I'm waiting for the elevator and it's taking 10 minutes and it looks like there's traffic. I'm gonna see the ETA right now. I might have to go to the other mosque. You might go to the other mosque? If I can't make it in time, let me see the ETA. Oh wait, it says 30 minutes, exactly. Finally. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> It's literally stuck. Are we gonna make it? We have five minutes. Currently pulling into the parking lot right now. Um, okay, let me. Should I stand out and see? Yeah, I don't see your car. I'm in the black. The black Jeep. We are currently walking to the mosque. I brought my phone because I didn't want to bring my like big camera. <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled up to my parents house my sister and I are going to the gym together so she's gonna grab some of her clothes ready Freddy ready hello she attempted making a heart <laughs> not too bad close that's good dude that's a sweet camera bro <laughs> yeah. Nice. Are you gonna start posting TikToks? <laughs> so what a, what, a, what a good way to like to give back, you know what I'm saying? Like, it would be rewarding, you know. It would be so much fun and make up all sorts of things. How do we feel about this? I just finished upper body. That was a great session. It was more of like static kind of training. Not so much explosiveness, which is what I'm usually used to. And this is literally my first workout back on here in like ages. I'm literally filming it myself. Yeah, I actually had a great session. Now I'm about to go back and I'm gonna walk into some work. I did upper body from my Ramadan program on my app. Again, if you need workouts, I got you. It's a great style of training for low intensity. I feel happy posting workouts on YouTube again. I'm looking for like a full-time videographer for YouTube and it has to be female, female only. So um, that's even harder. So uh, if you know anyone who's a female videographer who wants to be full-time and will work 
from Dallas, then um, let me know. I'm gonna go back and shower and basically get ready for the day, even though it's night. Um, yeah. Okay, we are gonna listen to a podcast. And this one is called Ramadan 2015. So this came out a minute ago. Um, I'm gonna listen to this while I pick a fit because uh, I'm gonna do some work, but I wanna like feel cute while I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? It'll give me like a little bit of a boost, so. If we want to benefit from the beautiful month of Ramadan that is about to come, let us understand it is the month of fasting, the month of discipline, the month of taqwa, the month of the Qur'an, the month of developing a link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the month of repentance, the month of making resolutions so that we can lead the rest of the 11 months of the year leading up to the next Ramadan in a way that will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm going to take you through my upper body workout. So I started off with a dead hang and I did this for three rounds and 30 seconds each. The full details will be on Instagram. Since I took like a breath, I'm gonna cut that breath out because whenever you're speaking, since all of us have short attention spans, cutting those like breaths out and like the ums and the likes, you know, cause it's just like pauses that are not needed throughout the voiceover. I currently have about 15 minutes to eat and drink water until I need to leave for the morning prayer. My sister's also here with me, so we're both gonna go. And um, yeah, so I'm about to make some food very, very quickly. Here is everything. So we have greens, hummus, yogurt balls, strawberries, eggs, full, which is like a bean, bean dip kind of thing, and then pita bread. Chugging water. So she's using the camera and she's like, hi. We are headed to the mosque. We have to um zoom zoom a little bit. So let's go. Okay, we are literally currently chugging water. Uh it's 6:30 now. So we have about one more minute until we have to stop drinking. <laughs> literally. <laughs> I wasn't listening to that, okay? Uh, playing Quran is kind of like you're listening to the prayer, I guess. It's not music. It's like reciting the Quran in Arabic. So um, here, I'll play a little bit of it. <laughs> ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين Um, I just finished coming back from the mosque and then I cleaned up a little bit 
Now I'm about to do my skincare. I actually want to do a skin update because your girl was doing like Korean skincare. If you saw my video about the Organize With Me, if you haven't watched it, go check it out. But um, yeah, I was doing Korean skincare and for some reason it started breaking me out. But I've heard a lot of feedback that like a lot of people have been breaking out from Korean skincare. It really just depends on your skin. So I'm going back to my original plan. I was... um doing one product for the longest time but then i had to boycott it so i have actually been using abaji as well which abaji is a really good uh skincare this is not branded by the way um this is the cleanser i've been using and it's actually been helping my skin since like getting off of the korean skincare i'm also about to read a little bit of Quran. my sister is actually reading right now then i'm gonna try and sleep for maybe like two-ish hours. I was doing waking up at like 3 a.m. and then I would sleep around like 9 30 p.m. It really just depends if I'm going to the mosque at night but to be honest my main like priority is going to the mosque at least once a day literally once a day and then reading. Do not be so hard on yourself during this month. I literally like felt so frustrated with myself because yesterday didn't go to plan like i ended up switching my routine and whenever you like create a routine in general whether you're doing ramadan or not when we plan out these perfect schedules and we do all these habits and everything and then when we don't follow it completely through it's like we want to just forget everything and not do any of the habits but that is not what you should do like if you mess up on your schedule try and do a little bit of the habits that you told yourself you were going to do and try to pick up where you left off sometimes we get in our own heads and we like get frustrated and especially during Ramadan like our bodies are getting acclimated to fasting and like this routine so sometimes it can be a bit frustrating especially like if we feel like we don't want to do anything sometimes we can feel that way after eating um so much so have a plan, have some structure, making sure that you know exactly what it is you're doing, whether that's through the night or in the morning. I just wanna say that, do not be so hard on yourself and it will stick. Just keep trying. Anyways, skin update. It's doing better, not getting in enough water and eating the right foods can really mess with your skin as well. I honestly find my skin doing better when I use less products. Brush my teeth. I probably should have flossed before I brushed my teeth, but... Dude. If you do not floss, you better start flossing. And literally, if you haven't flossed for a minute, I want you to floss and then smell the floss. It's disgusting. This is my favorite mouthwash as well. some chapstick. That's probably the hardest part about Ramadan is staying hydrated. That is. So make sure you're getting in two to three liters of water. Literally chug it, dude. Just chug it. I think my sister's reading right now, so I'm going to join her. And then I will probably take a little bit of a power nap and sleep. Um, yeah. This is the end of this video. I actually really enjoyed filming this Ramadan routine and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know if you do enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next week's video. I am gonna be organizing my closet and like literally just organizing it. It's honestly just everywhere all over the place. So um, I'm gonna be filming that. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss it and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I am wishing everyone a happy Ramadan and I hope this month is full of blessings for every single one of us and I hope that it is easy on you and not super challenging and I hope that you become stronger physically and mentally after this month. So um, I will see you guys in the next week's video. Next week's video, cannot talk, <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Mwah.